The state capitol are raising a few eyebrows for Mississippi school districts. Back in October, Republican lawmakers brought in a consulting firm to propose new ways of funding state school districts, leaving many school districts wondering how much it will be, how much rather will be cut. Uh, yesterday, that consulting group, Ed Bill, presented its recommendations for K-12 education funding. WCBI's Victoria Bailey talks with an area superintendent about these recommendations. She joins us live in the studio with more. Victoria. Joey, Andrea, right now talk of cuts to the state education fund is just that, talk. But for some school districts, cutting any more of their state funding could be detrimental to the system. State lawmakers look at the Ed Builds education budget proposal as a new way to fund public schools in the state. But for school districts like Lowndes County, it could simply mean receiving less money. Our legislature is looking at coming up with another formula for MAEP funding. The consulting firm proposed Monday that more of the cost for the state education should shift to the local districts rather than the state. eBuild recommends that more funding would go to low-income students, special needs, or students who don't speak English fluently. Though these are just recommendations now, Lowndes County Superintendent Lynn Wright says they're already preparing for the final copy. Be prepared in case it does actually affect our funds with a cut or a significant cut. But we started talking about this in December and we've alerted all of our principals and all of our supervisors. Trying to be as frugal as we can be as we've got to be as effective and as efficient as we can be and utilize the funds to the best of our ability. Currently the state guarantees at least 73 percent of school funding with the other 27 percent coming from the taxpayers pocket. Under the Ed Bill formula the state share would drop and local districts would have to make up the difference. Look at our budget and see from our request whether or not it will require an increase in any taxes. And what we have tried to do and will continue to try to do is, is keep our budget where we can work within the the revenues that are projected coming in where there will not be any tax increase. Wright says if the district is forced to contribute more local money, he believes the growth in industry to the area would help cushion the blow of potential cuts in the state funding. Because of the leadership we have in our county, they're continuously looking at attracting more industry in. And, you know, we can't say enough for the efforts of Joe Max Higgins, our county supervisors, and many of the, the founders of, the, of Lowndes County that are still around that had the vision to bring all this industry into Lowndes County. Now, Ed Build is recommending students be funded between $4,300 and $5,000. Joey, Andrea?